Bill has been the major shocker in this entire cabinet, uh, you know, uh, assignment of portfolios and all of that. However, I can tell you authoritatively, it's deliberate. My portfolio is deliberate. Now, everybody knows, at least those who have analytical minds and who are following global trends in economic development, hydrocarbons are going down. Oil, petroleum is going down globally in the economic sector. Now, people are moving away from those areas. Now you have electric cars, you have alternative fuel, you have gas, you have everything, which means our over-reliance on oil is going to be detrimental to the growth of the Nigerian economy moving forward. So what is the next bet? It is solid minerals. That's the next oil of Nigeria. Now, with this critical sector in mind, who will the president put there? The person he trusts most, the person who has a passion in his own estimation, who has the sense of responsibility, the knowledge, the vision, the courage to drive that sector and harness those critical resources for the benefit of Nigeria. And that's why I'm here. Great. So what should Nigerians be expecting from your ministry? The Nigerians should be expecting a departure from the norm. Everybody knows what's been happening in that solid mineral sector of the economy. It's been free tied away. Nigeria has been shortchanged. We've been receiving the shorter end of the stick. There is going to be a critical departure from that norm. But I'm not going to reveal the strategies and tactics right now. To save one's country is a special opportunity. You know, it's a special duty. And in a country of over 220 million people, uh, brilliance is not enough. So I feel extremely privileged and, and grateful to, to Mr. President. What should we be expecting from you? A whole lot, a whole lot. A society where technology can lift us to where we should be ideally. And a society where government services uh, becomes a lot more empathetic. And you see that's what Mr. President has been talking about. Tourism is about all of us, about our looks, our behavior, what we have to offer, um, what we have to offer internally and what our externals are expecting to offer. And it's going to involve every single person from the top to the bottom. And we can all do it. And we'll seek everyone. We're going to start seeking everyone's support. We are going to bring legislative uh, experience to bear, looking at the law, labor laws and to make sure that there are no infractions anymore. Because uh, over the years I've had this experience that it's not about turning out laws, it's about implementation. So we're going to see implementation of Nigerian laws that have been passed over the years, starting from the quota system that has made our youth to be outside uh, employment. Because most people come here, flow their company, they bring their people and they employ their people and their people are not checking them. And so we are going to ask for our quota system look at our quota system and ask for our quota for our Nigerian use because basically we are going to make sure that our use are removed from the forest and from the streets.